All right, YouTube, Shadow King King Nazaru, and we got another bit of sad news for comic fans. It's time to talk about Ezra Miller. Now we all know that Ezra Miller has been having a massive trip down Insanity Lane, uh, going through things like dressing up like a woman, uh, assaulting various people, getting drunk, uh, avoiding the police, uh, grooming children, and so on and so forth, and all the while jeopardizing his rep not only his reputation, but also the reputation of Warner Brothers, DC, and his upcoming Flash movie, which I'm genuinely surprised that they're even bothering to still show. Honestly, at this point with how crazy Ezra Miller is, I think it would better be just treated like the Batgirl uh, movie and just uh, unplug that thing and just Cut your losses, because it's honestly not worth. It's not. It's honestly not worth whatever money this movie could have made. Which, at this stage, I don't think it'll be at all that much. If it means that the brand is going to be tarnished. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we but we got another fiasco from Ezra Miller, uh, courtesy of LeeDaily.com. It we have an article saying that. Does Ezra Miller think he's the Messiah? Report. Actor identifies as both Jesus Christ and the devil. Seriously? Ezra Miller thinks he's Jesus. Not only that, he also thinks he's Jesus and the devil. Well, as a Christian, I'm obligated to look into this and, well, and critique it. Well, let's get into this, shall we? Recent strange behaviors exhibited by Ezra Miller appear to be the tip of the proverbial iceberg regarding their downward spiral. Uh, oh, uh, oh, right, I forgot. They use the, they like to use that they, them pronouns. And by they, I mean this website. And by the, and the other they, them, I'm referring to Ezra Miller, who identifies as non-binary, which I'm not going to do because I don't, because I'm not obligated to play in the fiction. There's men, and then there's women. You get well, you get that gender at birth. Stick with it. Okay. Uh, back, to the, back to the report. A fresh report has unearthed troubling news facts about the actor's delusions and his arrest in 2022, which led to his admission to a rehabilitation clinic due to his behavior. Yeah, that's pretty much his fake apology that he was probably forced to do because Warner Brothers uh, threatened to cancel his movie. Miller allegedly suffers from a messiah complex and frequently refers to himself in alternating fashion as Jesus and the devil. Yeah, we call that idolatry and blasphemy, which you shouldn't be doing. You're the, you're the creation not the creator. There's only one creator, that's God. And trying to say that you're both him and the devil? No, no, that just shows how delusional you are. Reportedly, the Wyckoff resident who is who is suspected of grooming, brainwashing, and emotionally abusing 12-year-old Dakota Iron Eyes. Yeah, you see, I, see, I told you. He's been, he's been in a lot of messed up stuff. Believes that he and the adolescent are destined to be together and bring about the apocalypse. Uh, I'm sorry, what now? These allegations have made public in the media. A source provides a synopsis of his deluded mind of Ezra, Mi mind of Ezra Miller, stating Ezra is Jesus and Dakota is an apocalyptic Native American spider goddess. And their union is designed to bring about the apocalypse. I don't know what drugs Ezra Miller is on, but he definitely needs to stop. Cause this is this is absolute insanity. I mean, how? Can, okay, people, this is clearly a wolf in sheep's clothing trying to lead you astray. This is just some insane lunatic that is trying to take advantage of you. If you want to know about Jesus, read the Bible. 
If you want to know about the lies of the devil, read the Bible. Bible. And more specifically, they like the New King James Version of the Bible. Bible. And read canonical scripture. That way you will know who Jesus is and not fall for these scams from people like Ezra Miller or other false uh, prophets like Brandon Robertson or Joel Osteen or Stephen Futterick or Joyce Meyer. But these people are not good for you. They do not have your best interests at heart. And they will be and they will do severe damage to you in your afterlife. But back to this article. And that is the true reason why everyone is so against the two of them being together. No, it's because you're an insane lunatic who's a, who is assaulting people and jeopardizing not only your career, but the lives of everyone around you. Jumping Eagle Eye and Eye's mother knows this information has been shared. <clears throat> she repeats, he says he's our, he says he's uh, some kind of messiah. I'm sorry, it's really getting hard to correct these articles because they keep buying that non-binary garbage. And he is going to lead an indigenous revolution. Despite the fact that the actor in question does not have Native American lineage in his own family tree. Yeah, but in 2022, people can just identify as whatever, and they won't be. They can't be questioned out of it unless they unless the other person wants to be called a bigot. He professes that he walks through this world with an indigenous humility and spiritual awareness. Also, now we're now we're acknowledging that Ezra Miller is a man, and he's only playing non-binary because he's delusional. Says one indigenous insider who does not believe that Miller's fixation on Native American culture is respectful. He walks through this world with indigenous humility and spiritual awareness, says Indigenous Insider. However, the reality is that he does not at all, because he does not, doesn't give, well, I'm not going to say that word about, because I'm uh, trying to avoid profanity and trying to please the Lord. He doesn't give a D about it. The majority of sources additionally reveal that Miller verbally and emotionally abused those around them, and they describe their downward spiral as conflagration of the mental health issues the actor has <laughs> acknowledged, along with his drugs, guns, and outlandish claims that has raged for more than two years. Uh, people, you see this guy's crazy, right? So, I mean, I, if it's at all possible, get away from this lunatic! And call the cops. Call the cops. Get this guy arrested. Put him in a mental asylum. And then cancel. Cancel that Flash movie. Or at the very least. Put it on hold so you can recast Ezra Miller. And have some other person be at the Flash. Because honestly. Whatever money that may cost. It, trust me. It will be worth it compared to what is all the damage that he's going to do. At least three different people have stated that Miller has incorporated the superhero role that he plays into, the, into his pompous discourse. During Miller's arrest in March in a tiki bar called Margarita Village in Helio, Hawaii for shouting profanities, spitting in a customer's face, and grabbing a mic from a woman singing karaoke, the actor claimed to have evidence that he had been assaulted by a Nazi and stated that he was a victim of the incident. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the article. It's just Ezra Miller being crazy again. Honestly, people, you need to stay away from people like Ezra Miller who are just calling their own delusion and are just going to do a lot of harm to you just to indulge that delusion. If you're trying to seek some religious experience, turn to the Bible, turn to a genuine Christian follower or a, gen a true pastor and seek some spiritual guidance and get to know Jesus better. Don't go to people like Ezra Miller who have no idea what they're talking about and just caught up in their own fantasy world. And Ezra Miller, you really need to turn yourself over to the police, get yourself some help, repent of your foolishness, 
and stop endangering other lives. Well, that's all I had to say about this. I'll catch you more later. Stay as far away from Ezra Miller as possible.